CQ, CQ. This is W9GFO. Is anybody out there? Don't you know people need to see what I've seen? They need to see. This is the way it's been done for billions of years. Small moves are. Microscopic. Sure is. Micro is like micro means tiny and top scope means like to focus or to zoom in or something like that. Um, so microscopic would be the ability to see tiny little things. Macroscopic would mean the ability to see huge things. And yes, Minecraft is a huge thing. Look at this. Look at this. I can start building my Native American adventure map. Do I have Game Town? Look. Wait a minute. I took them the last time I was here. Yes, I have Game Town. Where are my friends? There were, there were friends here before. Okay. For now, we'll do this. Uh oh, I don't hear them. When I loaded this seed, I found this seed online. I wanted a good seed with a mesa. When I loaded this seed the first time, there was a. Oh, wait. There was a huge pack of wolves, and I don't see them now. Or hear them either. There's also a lot of horses right by spawn. Also, this looks a lot more like the real desert southwest because. Uh, mesas aren't just bleak, barren, clay and sand filled things with nothing growing on them. There's a lot of life in the deserts of the southwest. There was, when I, when I first played this seed, right here, there was a herd of donkeys. This looks a lot like the, um, land masses in, uh, especially around the Four Corners area. I believe this is Bryce Canyon Mesa. I mean, um, biome, I think that's what they actually call it. Let me see. One, two, three. This is just regular Mesa. Wow. So this looks a lot like some of the natural geological shapes you would see up around the Four Corners, which is New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, and Utah all come together in one corner. And, um, they call it the Four Corners area. So this is a nice big mesa. I'm not going to go around it too much because I'm nervous and I'm afraid I'll get lost. But it's a nice big mesa. It's close to a lot of real good arable land. Of course, Native American people were. Um, I know there's a people think that they were all just hunters. Well, they weren't. They were hunters and farmers and they had real innovative stuff having to do with agriculture. So, um, green land, particularly near rivers, very important. Um, another thing is, see those scads of wild horses for the players to tame. I need to go in game mode 3 and find out where the dungeons are, maybe install a few dungeons, ways to get a hold of, um, saddle. And there's the temple. I don't want to go near it. I'm afraid to set the game to peaceful. It isn't set to peaceful, is it? Options. Oh, no, it is. That's what happened to the dog. I don't want it on peaceful, and I can't set it. That's what happened to the wolves. Oh, no. See, wolves are considered hostile creatures until you tame them. Oh, that's bad. Um. Well, I guess I'm going to have to spawn in some wolves then. I don't know how I'm going to set the game mode again. Jeez. That's bad. Oh, no. I can't change the difficulty. Darn it! 
Let me see if I can... No, I can't do it in here, can I? I don't know how to do this. Survival. Okay. So... I don't know if that means the wolves will come back in or not. I didn't have it set to peaceful. I didn't know I could do that even. So... Uh, let me check, check my options again and see. See, this is how I how new I am at doing all this. I don't know what to see. That's not cool. Back to me. Hmm. Well, I guess I will have to make a list of things that I need. I don't want to bother the server admin because these folks are so busy. They just revamped the real TEI servers, you know, and the mini games, and they're adding survival and. They've added creative, and, you know, it's a huge server project. Ooh, there's a thing under here. So I don't want to bug them, but there's some things I don't know that I can do. Like, I don't have access to the server console. That's TEI's property. They don't want me messing around in that, and I don't want to be messing around in it. Because I don't want to accidentally make a mistake, and you know. So, but the wolves are missing, and they need to be there. Darn it. So there's things I need to know, like I have some command blocks I want to make. Like, did you know that you can change the food? Just using command blocks, sort of a vanilla modification with, with command blocks. And I would like to have corn and um, squash and beans. Because there are very important foods to a lot of Native American people. I'm going near the temple. No, no, no. Um, I, you know what? I'll do a check down here and see. But I have a feeling. But no, there's no maps yet. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. All right, let me try game mode one. Inventory. I bet I can't do it. Let's try. And if I do spawn a wolf, will it be a wolf or will it be a tame dog? Nope, it's a wolf. That's wolves. Whoops, I always do that. I put an S on bone. Don't run away! Hey, come back here! Because these aren't wolves anymore. Uh-oh, I hit the spawn egg instead of, instead of the bone. I've got 50 billion. Oh my gosh. And this wolf isn't even interested in me. Come on, there you go. Okay, now you guys probably need food, right? Yeah. Oh, what I just did. Zombie flesh. Oh, no, rotten flesh. That's what it's called. It would help if I knew the names of things, right? Hey, you little stinkers. Well, I have them now. But get out of the grass so I can feed you, you know? Your tail's not going up. Hmm. Why isn't your tail going up? You should be getting healthier because I'm feeding you. Hmm. But they're not um, expressing any ill health either. Hmm. Oh, creative is a funny thing. Game mode. Zero. Look, that's fine. Zero. Now I'm all busy doing this and not paying attention to what I see. Yeah, the tails aren't going up. Hmm. I guess they're already domesticated, and I don't know. Odd. Okay, game mode one. G-A-M-O-D-E. -E. One. I'm gonna need monsters. I would like naturally forming dungeons, like close to spawn. <coughs> Excuse me, spawn is right in here somewhere. In these birch trees, and it looks out over just... A little bit of the mesa. It's like right here somewhere. Uh, I also have an issue with getting compasses to work when I have um, 
creative. Uh, the compasses don't show you where your spawn point is. D O M. No. So there's things I don't know if I can do. For instance, how would I use MC Edit here? I would like to put in schematic. Yes, you have to swim. I'd no. like to put in some schematics. There's things I want to build and set them down here in the world rather than disturbing this world. I also don't have copies of this world, and I don't know if I have a way to make copies of this world, and that too is an issue. Now these, in um, in the geographical region where I live, in the desert southwest United States, these would be cottonwood trees. They look almost the same, okay? But they're much bigger, they grow a little bit farther apart. They're very drought resistant, and they're very beautiful trees. Native American people use these to make um, a lot of sacred objects, like, I'll explain what kachinas are later, but they're representations of spiritual entities. They also use the wood um, to make drums. They only use dead trees. They don't chop down trees to make their sacred things. They find logs that are lying on the ground, and they carve them. So this could very easily be a cottonwood forest. Uh, cottonwood tend to grow closer to water, but we can fake that. There's a structure I want to build at spawn, probably up here, because this is the highest point of the map. It is. It would be a huge pot for collecting water. And you can also use them for storage. Uh, pots were not just used for liquids. They were used to cook things in. They were used for storage for dry goods too, like um, dried corn or dried beans and that kind of thing. So I would like there to be a huge pot on top of this hill. And it's going to have a crack in it because the world is broken. And it's going to be the job of the player to find the missing pieces and restore the pot. When the pot is restored, that is winning the game. There will also be side quests. Now you won't know when you're out here playing this game, when you look in loot chests, you're not going to know what's important loot and what is just random stuff. Okay, I'm going to use random chests, but I'm also going to put special items in them. But they might look like just plain old stuff. But they have to be from these chests, and they will be named items. And you will come back to spawn, and there will be a dropper system little chests with droppers underneath them and when you place the right item in the right chest no. um, that will be the fulfillment of the quest and maybe you'll get some little thing like a special weapon or tool or a stack of food or a piece of armor or something like that so there will be little side quests and there will be instead of complete mm. the monument it will be complete the, the big piece of pottery um, and that's kind of how the map will be. A lot of people in modern Native America refer to uh, North America and Central America as Turtle Island. That is potentially a good name for the map. I'm not sure. Uh, there's also a lot of references to the Four Directions, that sort of thing. But what I want to do is take people on adventures using a pretty prevalent Native American uh, folk story and mythology and spirituality figure called Coyote. Coyote is a trickster. Sunflowers, by the way, live out here. They're not necessarily indigenous. There are some indigenous kinds of sunflowers. But there's also a Russian sunflower that's pretty pernicious that is an invasive species. Anyway, Coyote gets into trouble. Um, he's very similar to the Jack stories of um, um, the British Isles. You know, Jack and the Beanstalk, where uh, his wife or mother, whoever, thinks he's a fool because he sold the cow for beans, and they turn out to be magic beans, and he gets to go to the giant's place, and he has to, because he's so small and weak and, and not very strong, he has to outsmart the giant rather than use just brute force, you know. So this coyote creature out here, he's a trickster. He's, he gets into pickles because he thinks he's smarter than he is, but he's also really good at outsmarting other people. And they're funny, humorous stories. They're also ways of explaining, like, why the Milky Way exists. Um, 
because Coyote made a mistake when he was helping the creator put the stars in the sky. So I want to use Coyote stories and I will teleport people from spawn to various places on the map where they can find what they need to fulfill quests and to deal with the stories that we will be telling. And then they can bring the stuff back here. Um, there will be a little teleport button so that you can come back here and put your side quest items in the little chest. There will be a little monument somewhere around in here. I, uh, uh, well, anyway. And then when you find the blocks that are needed to repair the pottery, the sculpture, um, then you come up on top of the mountain and repair that. Mobs will be on. I want naturally generating mobs on this. I'm not going to make any special fancy schmancy mobs, I don't think. I may make something called skinwalkers. It's a Navajo thing about, um, they're a little bit like vampires, but not really. They're real human beings. Navajo people are afraid of them. Um, they are real human beings that live today who practice a form of, I guess you'd call it magic, um, that real negative or real destructive and real selfish um, so I would like to maybe have skinwalkers I don't know how I'm going to deal with the um, Europeans who invaded they're going to have to be dealt with they're going to have to be dealt with I don't want to be accused of reverse racism because I'm going to be describing white people as mean but white people were mean and not all white people no but they came here for the resources, particularly the gold, and they caused a lot of destruction, and I have to address that in the map. I'm just not sure how to do it yet. Um, people need to know the truth. Uh, without it being a soapbox and without branding, um, like white people are all evil, something's wrong with my skin. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. What in the world is that? skin servers are down. I don't know. So I'm going to have to deal with some things. Now, I did find out Golden Turkey has made um, that mod with com command blocks, a vanilla mod, to change some foods. So I can have some different foods. I can build teleporters. I just have to be real careful that I don't make lag machines. And there's a couple of other things, like Adrian Brightmore made, he calls it a peacock, uh, I would like it to be a turkey. It's a um, chicken with particle effects that looks like a big plumed multicolored tail. Uh, so those are some ideas for how I want to start this. I need to rebuild that temple, that desert temple, and any other desert temples I see around here so they look more Mesoamerican from Central America, Aztec, Toltec, Mayans, that sort of thing. I don't want stuff that's out of character for the um, geographical area. Beautiful map, isn't it? I was just looking for seeds with mesas, and this one was just like, yeah, I think I will. It's actually got three temples real close to spawn, and there's a village close to spawn. I won't show you where it is. I sure wish I knew what was wrong with my skin. So I'm going to need help. I'm going to need map builders who can volunteer. Oh, this is another reason I love this seed. Look over here. Yeah, this is an indigenous North American food, so definitely. Um, and there's potatoes in the game, and of course mutton, which is mutton was introduced, sheep were introduced by the Spaniards, but you should see what Native American people do with sheep. Oh, wow. Some of my favorite food in the world. They make a mutton stew called pozole with hominy and chili peppers and a bunch of stuff in it. Also, I've got the dungeon set high. It's a uh, potential for 30 dungeons in an area. So um, a lot more dungeon generation so people can find resources they need without having to grind and mine, like chests with iron and stuff like that in them. And I, of course, can also, you know, um, custom add items to the chests. So... I'm scared and I would like help because I would like advisors particularly to come online. I can whitelist whenever I choose. I would like advisors to come online and say, well, you know, if you did it this way, 
But I know people's time is at a premium. People have jobs and lives, and they're working on their own maps and projects. This is my very first map, and I want to do it well, and I want to do it right. And um, so anybody who has a little free time and would like to get involved in this project or give me a little advice, I'll do the grunt work myself. You know that. I want to learn all these processes with command blocks and so on. But there's a donkey. There's a whole bunch of donkeys. Alrighty then. Okay. So. They're not. They didn't spawn in the same area they did when I first saw this map. But they're here. Ah. Uh, let's see. So if anybody has energy for helping me with this. I want it to be educational. I want it to be fun. I want it to be welcoming to Native American people, that they would feel welcome here, like this isn't making fun of their cultures and customs and traditions and stories, but is actually an asset to them. I would like Native American kids to become familiar with Minecraft. I think it's a natural thing. Minecraft EDU for Native Americans makes a whole lot of sense. There's a lot about Minecraft that resonates with um, some Native American cultures and traditions. At the geometry of the art and architecture and so on, uh, the adventurousness of it, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff. So I would really like this to be a welcoming place so that Native American kids feel free to come here and learn about Minecraft in a fun and interesting way that is similar to stuff that they already kind of know about. Although, uh, you know, with the urbanization of Native Americans and their being scattered from their homelands um, and their families and their traditions and stuff, uh, a lot of Native American kids don't even know their own languages. Well, God, I'm getting too close to the thing. Um, so it's an opportunity to maybe do a little bit of that. I'm going to be changing the resource pack so that it's more reflective. I'm going to be changing some paintings. I'm going to be having some maps that people look for the parts of them to assemble pictures when they put the pictures together like a little jigsaw puzzle when they put the pictures together they will have um, like paintings or artwork or sand sculptures or stuff from Native America alright that's basic overview it's a big project and I'm starting with absolutely no skill set whatsoever pretty much so I would appreciate anybody who has the time, energy, and patience to come over here and offer suggestions. I can whitelist you and um, collaborate with me and give me your ideas for what needs to happen so that I can do a really good job of this and not make something ginky. Okay, so that's... I guess, for now, the working title is Turtle Island. I'm sorry I don't look like Granny. I look really scary. Oh, you know what I could do? I could... Oh, mm. wait a minute. I could do... Can I put a jack-o'-lantern on my head or just a pumpkin? Nope, can't put a jack-o'-lantern. So that's it. I look so weird. Um, uh, Drop me a line if you want to participate. Remember, I'd hug you butt arms, don't bend. This looks so ridiculous. Bye. Crushing, cruising streets for gold. Cruising streets for gold. Well, out here they cry. I will kill you. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adore. Get it.